And he was an under threshold purist. And he made some comments about like how I've got poor ethics because I'm exposing reactive dogs to my helper dogs in short distances in a garage with the dogs on a tie back. And I get that a lot. A lot of dog trainers that believe that we're supposed to keep the dog under threshold and we're supposed to avoid triggers at all costs to never allow them to rehearse the behavior. When it comes to like superficial reactivity or even this, which is just this dog's excited and he gets a kick out of barking. There's probably a little bit of dopamine response happening. The dog is having fun. It's an understimulated dog that's literally le le unleashing the, the barks and the displays and having a good time while doing so. So with that dog, exposure work distances might work. You're probably going to spend six months and it's not going to be efficient. For this dog, because the dog is so driven and enjoys the food and has tons of drive and engagement, then I'm just going to leverage that and say, cool, you love this stuff. I'd like you to knock it off.